Hello guys, welcome back to a brand new video and welcome back to Premier League Predictions Week 20. I know we're a game early because Newcastle and Man United still yet to play, but I don't think it's going to make much uh, difference to the result I'll probably predict. So anyway guys, you know what to do, it's a big fun that you enjoy, it. subscribe for more, thanks for watching and let's go. So the first game we're going to talk about is Crystal Palace versus Norwich. Wilfred Sahar got sent off against Tottenham Hotspur, I believe it was. And yes, it was. So there's going to be no Wilfred Sahar in this game. And they are running out of time in Crystal Palace for Wilfred Sahar, considering he's been called up for the Africa Cup of Nations. So they've got a couple more weeks with him, but the time is running out. Going up against the Norwich side that did lose this weekend to at home to Arsenal 5 now. And what was hearing on the radio, it's a very disappointing uh, Norwich performance. I believe it's Talk Sport, I heard it, where one of the uh, people on out, I can't quite remember his name, I didn't quite catch it, that they will get relegated. So, on that matter of side, I'm going to go for a 1 1 score line for that one. My next one is Southampton versus Spurs. Southampton did play, got a great result away to West Ham, 3 2 winners. Uh, yeah, let's not talk about that too much on the West Ham perspective. Um, but fair play to Southampton, a really good result. Uh, Spurs did beat Chris Palace 3 0, as I've just mentioned. Uh, I've got a funny feeling it's going to be quite an interesting game this one down at St Mary's. I'm going to go for a. 3-1 Spurs win. I just think Spurs might edge it. You know, under their new management, they seem to be doing quite well. The next one is Watford versus West Ham. I believe Watford didn't play. I think I believe the game got postponed, which it did. Liverpool, uh, no, sorry, not Liverpool. West Ham did play, losing 3-2, as I've just mentioned. It's going to be a very, very interesting game. I ain't going to lie. Watford ain't doing that badly. Okay, I'll well, sit in just outside near the relegation zone and you know it's got to be one of them games where they might actually fancy themselves to get a point out of this one West Ham on the other end on the other hand just you know I've just said they lost 3-2 to hunt Southampton is that going to be a dip in performance only time will tell but I'm going to go for a West Ham win even though I do believe Watford might fancy this one and I'm going to go for a 2 0 scoreline for that one. My next one is Leicester versus Liverpool. Now, I know Leicester did lose 6 3, 9 goal thriller at the Etihad Stadium. Uh, and I do know that Leicester did, in fact, go 4 0 down. And they did, it was 5 3 at one point. I know if that like, people put on social media very much a game on. Man City be dominant as always. We talk more about F H job when we get down to it. But let's start, as I said, you know, losing 6 3. Great 9 goal thriller there. Liverpool, I believe, did not play. I can't see them here. So, you know, will Liverpool be over dominated by the performance? As I was, you know, we could be doing these games and some of them could be called off. But at the minute, they all still stand. So. I'm going to go for a Liverpool win, and I'm going to go for a 4-0 Liverpool win. My next one is Chelsea versus Brighton. Now, Brighton did beat Brentford 2-0 at home, and you can catch my vlog of that game at the end of this video. I'll make it pop up at the end, along with the subscribe button and the playlist to my match vlogs for all this season. But, you know, Chelsea look on the other... Chelsea only just really beat Thriller. As I was hearing, I uh, what I've heard. Villa did go one new up in that game as well. I believe Lukaku got one. I believe Jota got two from the penalty spot. But I'm going to go back to talk about Brighton for a minute because obviously it's my team and, you know, it's my club who I support. First win in 13 games. A really good performance, I believe, by Brighton. And as I said, you go back and watch the vlog after this video and I'll talk more about it there anyway. But I'm just going to mention it a bit more. A very good performance for Brighton. Um, good goal by Trossard and Neil Mope. And a very good, you know, be a good way to end the year if we could finish it in the top 10. 
Going forward to this game, now I know Chelsea could really play. I've been out there once, or se uh, once this season already, and that's against Malmo in the Champions League. And um, what I have realised is that, you know, Chelsea and Brighton do like to play the same sort of way. So, you know, they very want to get on that front foot. As far as this game goes, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna call it a draw, I think, and I'm gonna go for a one-all scoreline for that one. My next one is Brentford vs Man City. I've just mentioned Brentford losing two 0 away to Brighton. Uh, now Brentford did have one or two good opportunities in that game. You know, I'm not gonna lie. You know, Brentford did have one or two, one or two good opportunities in that game against Brighton. Very much off the pace in the first half, the managers said that at the end of the game. And they did look a bit more dominating in the second half. But, you know, it's one of them things where I think if you don't play one half, you know, it's not going to work really good in a second, especially after being 2 0 down at half time as well. Going on the main city and beating Leicester City 6 3 at home at the Etihad Stadium. And, you know, good goal by Kevin De Bruyne. Really dominant performance. Raheem Sterling penalty. It was a really, really good performance from Man City um, against Leicester. Going forward to this game, I've seen nothing but domination from Man City again. You know, on, I think Man City will have the title now, if I'm being brutally honest with you. But I'm going to go for a 4 0 scoreline for that one. Sorry to any Brentford fans. My next one is Everton versus Newcastle. I can't talk about Newcastle yet because they have not yet played. Everton didn't play at all. So I'm just going to go straight with the result. Quite easy draw. Quite boring draw as well. And I'll go for a 0 0 scoreline for that one. Same with this one Man United versus Burnley. It's my last one as well. I'm gonna go. May not have not yet played a Burnley didn't play, so yeah, again, it's just yet to get over my prediction. Now these are the sort of games that could really cause an upset between you know both sets of clubs. I reckon Burnley. Nah, I'm not gonna. No, I won't go through as I about to say. Uh, but I'm gonna go for a United win, just about, and I'm gonna go for a two-one United win. But anyway, guys, you know what to do. If you enjoyed this video, give a big fat thumbs up if you enjoy it. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. Ciao for now.